while we're waiting, let's just ask if there's a general message that the collective guides want to share with all of you. So if you want to, just take a couple of deep breaths and relax, close your eyes, and just allow whatever it is they have to share to wash over you. And so I'm seeing this small child who's playing on the beach with a little red sand bucket and a yellow shovel. And there's just this peaceful lake nearby. And the parents are nearby, benevolently smiling and watching over their child. And this child is fearless, exploring his world. It's a little boy. Just having fun. And so the feeling I'm getting is this is the message to remind all of us of who we were once as children. Well, we didn't have all these cares and responsibilities. We hadn't developed all of the fears. We were just secure in the knowledge that we were who we were and our parents loved us and sunshine came every day and there was sand to play in and life was good. And each day was just about learning new things and finding more fun things to do. And then one day as this child grew up, he walks forward and there's a canoe. And he climbs into this canoe and he takes the paddle and he starts row rowing out into this body of water, which is now expanding. It's no longer just a lake. It's no longer limited to that small world that the child lived in. He's grown now and his life and his world has expanded. And so here he is rowing out into the water with confidence and excitement about what he's going to find. He doesn't know where he's going. He's just rowing forward in faith that he will feel where to go. And as night falls, he looks up at the stars. He sees that one twinkling star that just beckons to him. And so he rows in the direction of that star. And when he's tired, he sleeps. When he's hungry, he fishes and he eats because he's discovered there are tools in the canoe. All of his needs are met. There's water in the canoe. He wants for nothing. All he need do is think of a need and whatever it is he needs will materialize. He's a powerful manifester of his world. And because he grew up in this confidence and this faith and this understanding that all of his needs would always be met, that is his truth. He doesn't doubt that. And therefore, he can instantly manifest whatever he needs. And when he awakens, he brushes the sleep out of his eyes, he yawns, he stretches. He sits up and he gives thanks for this amazing world and this amazing journey. And he picks up his canoe and he starts moving forward again. And he sees the playful dolphins who come to splash and share a little joy with him. And he sees the turtles and the fishes. But he doesn't have any worry about sharks coming to get him. He's just there and he's enjoying every moment of his life. He's not worried about tomorrow. He's present in the moment. And this is the message that they're bringing for all of us. Stop worrying so much about tomorrow. Your needs will be met. You have the ability to take care of yourself. You have the ability to manifest whatever you need. But you get blocked when you start worrying about tomorrow. And when you say, I want this but, as soon as you put that but in there, you slam the brakes on your manifestation because you have just limited yourself. You've put yourself in a box. Let that go. Be like that child again who says, I want this, and fully expects it to come. Knowing that sometimes it takes longer than others because pieces have to come together to bring this to you but knowing that it will ultimately come. It's all there for you. You are all the powerful creators of your reality. But dear children, be mindful of your thoughts. Be disciplined. You are the boss of your thoughts. Do not allow them to run wild. Do not allow them to scamper to and fro through your brain. 
when they start rushing off into the dark corners and into the fears and into the limitations, stop and notice that. Shift them to something more positive and uplifting. You do not have to dance with darkness. You do not have to stand and look at darkness and fear and doubt. Turn your gaze to the sun, to the uplifting light. Turn your memory and your thoughts to past successes, wonderful memories. Stay in that energy. And you may say, well, I'm just deluding myself, and what good is this doing? And you can get down and, sure, pull yourself into that darkness. You can choose to do that. But we say it would be a wiser choice to allow those uplifting thoughts, those happy memories, to lift your vibration. Because when you do, you put yourself back into alignment with your soul. And when you are in alignment, the journey is so much easier and so much sweeter and your manifestations will start appearing before you. Doors will open before you. You will have more wisdom and more insights, more clarity about your journey. You will feel more peace, more joy, more love, not only for yourself, but for humanity. Because when you stand in a place of alignment, connected with divine, you are filled to overflowing with so much love and light that it can't help but spill over onto humanity. And when you stop judging others as being less than or being defective in some way, when you see them all as perfect souls just as you are, hatred will slip away, bigotry will slip away, doubt and fear will slip away. You will be flooded with the knowledge that you are this brilliant, magnificent soul and everything is right with your world and tomorrow it will be more right. This is the soul journey that you are on. This is the ascension journey that you are on and it is perfect. Tomorrow will be more perfect. So dear children, just keep going and keep reaching for more love, light and joy each and every day and we will be there with you every step of the journey. Never doubt that. We are always here. Today, tomorrow, and into infinity. That is the truth. And with much love, we bid you adieu.